The rostering settings page can be accessed via the payroll settings tab, which is found here or here. This page allows you to configure various options such as budget settings, additional rostering features, shift cutoff times and custom notification messages. The first section here relates to manager positions and includes whether or not managers can edit roster templates. This allows restricted users with the Manage Employee Rosters permission on the Manage Users page to create new or edit or apply roster templates to the roster. These users can only undertake these actions for the locations and or employee groups assigned to their access. If this setting is not selected, then only full access users can create and apply roster templates. Managers can edit roster budgets. This allows restricted users with the Manage Employee Rosters permission on the Manage Employees page to create and or edit a budget in the roster. These users can only undertake these actions for the locations and or employee groups assigned to their access. Again, if this setting is not selected, then only full access users can set up the roster budget. The budget section includes a roster budget warning. The amount entered here will determine at what percentage the rostered costs need to be highlighted as a warning in the roster. The rostered cost will change colour to an amber warning colour when the cost for the day or period have exceeded the set amount. Rostering budget entry. You can choose to enter the budget amount as a percentage of sales or a fixed amount. Budget amounts are entered on a per day basis. Employee permissions. These include whether or not employees can decline shifts that have been assigned to them. Selecting this option means that when rostered shifts are published, employees can choose to decline a shift. If they decline the shift, they will no longer be assigned to the shift and it will become an unassigned shift. Employees must accept shifts that have been assigned to them. Selecting this option means that when the rostered shifts are published, managers are wanting employees to accept the shift in order to explicitly confirm that they will be working. Now, if both of these options have been selected, there's default shift actions. These settings will need to be selected for a shift if it is yet to be actioned, that is either accepted or declined by the employee. You're able to say that if pending shifts are not actioned by the employee within the time frame, which is below, then the shift will be automatically accepted or the shift will automatically be declined. If only the decline shift option is selected and the employee has not actioned the shift within the cutoff time frame here, the shift will be classified as accepted. If only the accepted shift option is selected and the employee has not actioned the shift within the cutoff time frame, there's a separate set of default shift actions that will appear. This setting excludes bidding shifts as bidding shift cutoff times are configured separately. The options here are do nothing. This means when a shift is not actioned or accepted within the shift action cutoff, the shift will still remain assigned to the employee in the roster, even if the employee doesn't explicitly accept the shift. In summary, nothing will change in regards to who the shift is assigned to. Send notifications. When a shift is not accepted within the shift action cutoff time, the shift will still remain assigned to the employee in the roster. Additionally, managers will receive an email notification advising that the shift has not been actioned. This thereby allows the manager to action the shift as per business practices. In order for managers to receive this notification, they will need to activate the notification option via their My Notifications screen. Unassigned shift and send notifications. When a shift is not accepted within the shift action cutoff, the shift will no longer be assigned to the employee in the roster. Rather, it will be defined as an unassigned shift and moved to the unassigned row in the roster accordingly. Managers will receive an email notification advising that the shift has not been actioned and therefore converted to an unassigned shift. Additionally, employees will receive a notification 
via their designated notification option, i.e. email or SMS, advising them they are no longer rostered to work the shift as it was not actioned by them before the shift cutoff time. If we move down to the shift swapping section, this includes whether or not employees can swap shifts that have been assigned to them. Selecting this option means that when rostered shifts are published, employees can choose to swap the shift with another employee if they cannot work. Employees will be provided with a drop-down list of recommended employees that they can swap with. You'll also see a shift swap cutoff time. If shift swapping is enabled, the business will need to set a time frame of when the swap must be actioned prior to the commencement of the shift. If the swapped employee does not action the shift prior to this time frame, the swap will be cancelled and the shift will revert back to the original employee. Swap approval. If shift swapping is enabled, the business must decide the level of approval required for swapped shifts. The options are, a swap shift must always be approved by a manager before the swapped employee is assigned the shift in the roster. A swapped shift never needs to be approved by a manager and therefore will automatically be reassigned to the swapped employee in the roster. Or, the swap shift will only need to be approved by the manager when the cost of the swapped shift is higher than the original shift. If either the first or the last option is selected, the manager will only need to approve the shift after the employee assigned to the swap has accepted the swap. The shift bidding section includes the ability to enable shift bidding. Selecting this option will then allow users to assign a shift to a group of employees, whereby the first employee that accepts the shift will be assigned to that shift in the roster. It basically makes filling unassigned shifts an easier process for managers. This action can only be undertaken by full access users and restricted users with the manage employee rosters permission. Like the other sections, there's a cutoff time. So if this has been enabled, you'll need to configure a cutoff time whereby employees will no longer be able to action a bidding shift after that time. The shift will no longer be viewable in the employee's portal or work zone and if the employee attempts to accept a shift after the cutoff time via the shift notification email link, an error will appear on their screen. The bidding shift will still be displayed in the roster against the bidding employees but will also include a warning icon in the shift tile. Shift bidding manager notifications the business will need to set a time frame of when managers should be notified that a bidding shift is yet to be actioned by the employees. As is always the case, for a manager to receive an email notification, they need to configure this via their My Notifications screen. The last section relates to custom messages. If you want to include specific content in the notification email sent to employees, you can configure that here. To add custom content, click on the edit option here and the following pop-up will appear. You just need to enter the text and format using the format options in the top bar and then click apply. You've also got custom messages for shift notification SMS notifications. If you want to include specific content within the notification SMS sent to employees, you can enter the custom text here and then click save. It's important to remember to click the save anytime you make changes to this screen, otherwise your settings will not be updated. There you have it, the rostering page.